Thank you so much, Ireland. Peace talks aimed at ending Sudan's shattering civil war continued in Switzerland on Thursday. Discussions began a day before. However, the military's absence from negotiations dampened hopes for imminent steps to alleviate the country's humanitarian crisis. The paramilitary rapid support forces sent a delegation to the talks. But direct mediation will be impossible without the army present, U.S. Special Envoy Tom Perriello said this week. We will not be able to do in-person uh, mediated talks with the parties if the parties are not there, even if one party is not there. Instead, participants including Egypt, the UAE, the United Nations, African Union, East African body IGAD and experts would consult on roadmaps for a cessation of violence and carrying out humanitarian aid deliveries. The army has said its absence from the talks arises from the failure to implement previous U.S. and Saudi brokered commitments to pull combatants out of civil areas and facilitate aid deliveries. Mediators say both sides disregarded that accord. The RSF has denied many accounts of fighters attacking civilians and looting. It says it is open to a peace deal if the army engages in talks. In Port Sudan, locals hope an agreement can be reached. We want peace that satisfies all Sudanese people, without excluding any person. I hope that people go back to their homes and the rest to support those who have been affected, lost their homes, those whose homes were destroyed. We are supporting anything that would lead to an end of the war, with an agreement of everyone in a way that satisfies all people all over Sudan. UN officials have warned that Sudan is at breaking point, and that without a larger global response, there will be tens of thousands of preventable deaths from hunger, disease, floods and violence in the coming months. The war erupted in April 2023 amid disputes over how to integrate the army and RSF as part of a transition from military rule to free elections. The world's worst humanitarian crisis has ensued with half the 50 million population lacking food and famine taking hold in part of the North Darfur region.